Shalom everyone, this is our group curriculum, things that we will be doing as a group for me and my uh, small children. So let's get started. This would be the language arts portion of our group study. So this, these cards go along with the word, Wordly Wise curriculum. So, so we have these cards here and the concept cards here. We have cursive formation. This is um, put out by Abeka. We have the writing activity pockets and that is by Lakeshore. We have understanding homophones and uh, understanding misuse uh, wor misspelled words, misused words. We also have this, we're going to continue using the summarization, uh, the summarizing um, activity game uh, that worked out well last year. We started looking things up in the thesaurus and the dictionary, so this is something we are starting to continue with. Um, not so much, just for them to get an idea of um, researching things. Here we have another Evan Moore language review uh, daily book. So this is a daily uh, book. It has daily activities to do. We also have another Evan Moore book, Sharpen, uh, Skill Sharpener, Spelling and Writing for first grade. And we will be making copies out of these books. These Evan Moore books are reproducible, so we don't use these as a workbook per se it's just more of just worksheets sequencing is also an even more book for grades one and two so sequencing events I have them doing this maybe once or twice a month it's not something we do often and then over here are these teaching prompts and writing prompts I noticed that for the younger kids it's teaching prompts and then for the ones that have that they have for the four, uh, four to six graders, it's writing prompts. So we're going to be using this. This is for reading and also math. And that is it for the language arts portion. I will come back with the next portion. Okay, so now for the math portion, we will have these tins from Lakeshore. So we're going to begin fractions and also um, telling time. We already started uh, doing time, but we're going to get into it more. We are also going to do Life of Fred. We started apples already and we'll go into uh, butterflies just as a reinforcement. Uh, also, we will be doing some activities out of um, hands-on standards and this one is for grades pre-k and k and this one is for grades one through two we're also going to touch on money so this is fun with money and it has little coins here so this is a little activity book and this is money matters and pick this up at the thrift store both things up at the thrift store and this is just what it looks like in here and also, um, I did buy the Dave Ramsey for kids, but I packed it away. So I figured we'd touch on this now and touch on that one later. And we have time and money. I also picked this up at the thrift store and we'll be probably using this. All right. So this is our group math curriculum and I'll be back. Now this is all part of our electives that we are going to be getting into. Electives are going to be done maybe once a week. There's some, a little bit of STEM thrown in here as well um, with the art. However, this is mostly electives, only once a week. So we have uh, Yogarilla. This is a little uh, yoga game for kids. Basically, you just hold up the uh, cards and 
have them imitate the poses which is a lot of fun. I've done it with my students for years and we absolutely love it. I've even done it with my children. They love it as well. I have a baking set here. So we have all of this stuff for cooking. So that comes with an apron and kitchen utensils and things. We have art and cooking and life skills. And these are um, cards. We'll be using that this year. Here is a DK uh, Fun and Healthy Cookbook. So, if you didn't watch my uh, haul video that I had purchased this in, just to give you an example of how it is. And I like cookbooks that are very visual, very appealing to the eye, because I just cannot just take a book with plain words in it when it comes to cookbooks. I, I need to see what I'm doing. Anyway, this is a um, step-by-step drawing book and um, I wanted a drawing curriculum that would allow them to go step by step and you know it would be easy for them would be simple for them and then we can go into the complex later we don't have to um, go into anything grandiose immediately um, mind benders um, this is a critical thinking curriculum so we have this one we also have a visual perceptual skill building curriculum as well I had picked that up at Timberdoodle they will be doing uh, the flute this is for my son this is a little chef's hat with oven mitts and a an apron and a, an Usborne little children's cookbook so just so that you can quickly see what it looks like again lots of great pictures we have stencils over here so that would be for their uh, art curriculum and this would be for art as well um, just folding so and also we have the tubes over there for music okay so this is these are all of the resources well at least yeah all of the resources that we would be using for our electives and a few for the stem or steam and I will be right back with more okay so now this would be for our science uh, group study so over here we have the squishy human body and then we have the Safari LTD uh, body part tubes I had just picked this up on in a recent haul treasury of, of human body we have my body workbook so this is a reproducible book so we will be making copies and coloring in the pages this is my first encyclopedia of the human body Usborne and this is what it looks like very colorful typical Usborne beauty this is a DK Human Body, a visual encyclopedia. And this is what that looks like. So again, beautiful pages over here. We have a four foot visible human uh, body double-sided puzzle. Over here, we have the Discovery Kids Ultimate Human Body Encyclopedia. So in here, if you didn't see my previous haul video on this, it comes with a DVD and a book. And we also have this science book, which in my, I think it was in my son's video, I showed you a book that this will be paired with. So this is... Um, the book that it would be paired with because this does not have an explanation of um, you know th it doesn't have anything to go with you know to build a lesson on it just gives you a basic picture and the labels and that's it so that's it with that then we will be also doing nutrition so here is some of the nutrition curriculum. I didn't want to pull everything out, but this is just some of it. 
and that is all for our science portion of our group activity our group curriculum stay tuned so this would be our geography portion and uh, just to let you know I will be probably pulling from confessions of a homeschoolers um, mm. ex exploration expedit or something like that uh, world studies curriculum because uh, we will be covering this year Central and South America well Latin America and so we will be um, using that and because of that we're going to be touching a little bit on rethinking Columbus uh, we have our scrunch map there that's the world edition we have um, our landforms will also tie in the land forms for um, our studies we have the Usborne lift the flat picture atlas and we I pulled out the um, Brazil books I had picked this up at my local teachers store recently they were on sale and we also have we're gonna continue on with this beginning geography and we have another uh, geography from that one was from uh, K through 2 and this one is from grades 1 through 2 both Evan Moore and we're not really focusing on a history curriculum per se because we are using the Bible as history Bible the Bible is the first history book and I really want us to focus on the true knowledge of the Bible and um, the people of the Bible and such so we are going to do a main focus on that we're not going to pull from any um, other source but the Bible so that will be our main focus for history and um, that's it for that so stay tuned for my last um, my last set of books to show you okay so this is for the final portion of this video these are just some of the reference books now I have still a few more shipments to make and they will just be trickling in and you'll I guess some of them you'll get a chance to see when I get them but these are just a few of the books that I will be using for reference purposes as well as my planner here this is the planner that we're using I use this every year this is a simple plan put out by Mardell it, it works for us very well it's a great planner for a large family it holds up to six children and it, it it's very very well done I, I like it anyway um, like I said I've been using it for a while now and I've done a video on my previous one that I did um, so you can check that out but anyway I have a what your kindergarten needs to know book so we're almost done with that but I just have a few things I want to cover we have a what your first grader needs to know what your second grader needs to know and this is new to my list this is the Tinker Lab and being that we will be moving soon this is my dream to have an actual um, area in our home school that is a Tinker Lab and I've been getting some really great ideas from here as to how I want the set how I want the setup to be how I want um, you know even for experiments and what have you so anyway that is it for our 2015-2016 curriculum videos and there is more to come you'll see it in halls um, but it will uh, this is it for now thanks for watching and stay tuned for more